former Charlotte Mayor Patrick Cannon, a felon convicted of taking bribes while in the mayor's office, just filed to run for a different office here in Charlotte. Queen City News reporter Robin Kennedy is live at the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections. And Robin, you were the first TV reporter to actually break this story earlier this morning. That's right, Annie. Former Charlotte Mayor Patrick Cannon, who is a convicted felon, he was convicted of taking more than $50,000 in bribes while he was in the mayor's office, has now filed to run for a city council at large seat on Charlotte City Council. Now, Cannon was convicted back in, uh, well, he finished up his sentence. Uh, he was convicted in 2014. Then he went to federal prison, a federal prison in West Virginia. He got out in September 2016. And I want to bring in Mecklenburg County Board of Elections Director Michael Dickerson now. Michael, a lot of people might be wondering, can a convicted felon actually run for office in North Carolina? Sure, sure. It's quite possible. Uh, in North Carolina, once you finish your sentence, uh, once you complete everything probation, your rights of citizenship are automatically restored. So after your rights of citizenship are restored, you're now able to register to vote, uh, sign into contracts, and all those other things. Uh, and the only qualification for running for office is you have to be a, you know, a registered voter in that county for most offices. And for city of Charlotte, he has to be a registered voter in the city of Charlotte. He's got to be a member of the Democratic Party to run in their primary. And he has met those qualifications. So he is entitled to register and run. This has generated a lot of interest. You were saying you just got a flood of phone calls right. when this news broke. Tell me about that. Well, I think it uh, was about 8 o'clock this morning uh, that uh, uh, everything came through. And uh, we have, we've had a lot of media down here uh, making sure that, uh, hey, can we see this for ourselves and ask these same great questions. Uh, this is good because these are questions the public wants to hear, they want to know about. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it has created some buzz. <laughs> Do you think that will carry over into actually people coming out on Election Day and remind us of the dates? Right, exactly. Uh, you've got a May 17th primary election, so we will have a primary. Uh, it's one of those things where I think you're right, this will be continued through the process of, of, uh, of everything. Uh, you're, gonna, you're going to hear this. Whether or not it turns into people coming out on May 17th is another question. So I, I just count the votes. I let people vote. I don't pick winners or losers. So uh, we've got May 17th is our uh, primary. Uh, the general election for the city of Charlotte will be either July 5th or July 26th, depending on when the second primaries are for all the other races. So we will we will see what happens, but it's uh, it's going to be a a busy season. Very interesting time. And I do want to go ahead and read out these names of the other candidates who are running in this city council at large seat against Patrick Cannon. James Smudgy Mitchell, he just filed just moments ago. And then we've also got Lawana Mayfield, Dimple Ashmira, Larkin Eggleston, and Braxton Winston all running in the Democratic side for that city council at large seat. And then for the Republicans, David Merrill, Kyle Lubke, Kerry Olinsky, Charles Mulligan, David Rice, all going up against former Charlotte Mayor Patrick Cannon, who was convicted of taking bribes while in office, did federal prison time, and is now running for a Charlotte City at-large council seat. I'll send it back to you, Annie.